Hey guys, welcome back to Amazing Animals. Did you know that there are over 300 different species of primates that live in the world today? Some scientists think there's more, some scientists think there's less, depends on how they group their taxonomic classifications. But there are a lot of primates out there in the world, and today we're gonna teach you about a few of them that we have here at the rescue. a black tuft marmoset that we have here at the preserve. We also have Marvin next door that you'll see in a minute who's a common marmoset. So there's over 20 species of these little primates found in South America. They are native to the rainforest of Brazil. Now Bingo and Marvin we both got in because people had them as pets. That is something we unfortunately hear of a lot here and as cute and tiny as he is he does not make a good house pet. He's jumping all over the place, they're very active and people will actually keep them in bird cages which is not a proper environment. So getting outside, getting sunlight, it's so important for animals. Uh, they've really settled in nicely. In fact we noticed their faces getting darker, their fur getting healthier, all from having that sunlight all the time. He loves a nice healthy diet here. He gets fresh fruits and veggies. They also like a little bit of bugs so they are omnivores. They'll eat a little bit of everything in the rainforest and he is pretty friendly and socialized with people since he was raised as a pet but we also are very cautious of the transfer of disease with our primates. They are closely related to people so that's something we always keep in mind making sure that we're feeling healthy when we come in and take care of them and make sure they have a good healthy diet, a lot of toys, a lot of fun enrichment and uh, like to give them a good home and educate people about them here. So you might notice here Bingo has a nice long tail. His tail is not prehensile like some primates are, but he does use it for balance so it plays a very important role for him. And we know he is a monkey because he has that tail. So there are also apes which are in the primate family and apes are classified by primates that do not have a tail like a chimp. Uh, so there's all sorts of different species and types of primates found on all different continents throughout the world. So these guys, little guys, he's only a pound. That is full grown for a little marmoset. So they come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. So this is Marvin, our common marmoset. So he is one of the 20 species of marmoset found in South America. And he loves puzzle feeders. So this little thing has some mealworms. He's gotta try to figure out how to get them out. So he's very intelligent being a primate and it's really important that we do enrichment for these guys so that we get them thinking, using their brains. Let's see how he can figure this out. He tipped it over. And you can see it. Marvin looks a little bit different than Bingo, our black tuft marmoset, because he's got those white tufts. Uh, but they're all found in the rainforests of South America and Brazil. And they eat lots of different fresh fruits and veggies and mealworms. Alright, so this is the bush baby's diet. So all of our primates get a good variety of fresh fruits and veggies. Um, they also have a special little monkey biscuit in there. That's a special primate biscuit. And also some canned primate as well. So it's got all the good nutrients. They love it. Um, really important to make sure they have a good, healthy, balanced diet. So we're in with our bush babies, Akeen and Kodo, and they're a small primate from Africa. Now primates from Africa are called Old World primates. Primates from the Americas are called New World primates. And these guys are nocturnal. They have really big eyes and really big ears. They come out at night and they hunt for insects, small mammals. They'll eat fruits and leaves and gum off of the trees. They're really unique species. Um, they have really cool feet when they walk. They're real slow and they kind of crawl and they look really, really cool. Um, we got both these guys. These guys are retired animals. They used to do movies and 
special events with a company that travels and does a lot of conservation education with animals and they one day they decided we don't want to go out and do events anymore so they kind of retired them and now they get to live their life out here at the preserve and get to teach people a lot about our our primates that we have here. Now they'll on average live about 12 to 15 years. They're about four pounds each and uh, they can jump straight up in the air about six feet tall. They're super athletic, really cool species. And we even have some enrichment for them. We have a little puzzle feeder here with some worms and some treats in it. And it kind of helps them. They have to play around and find them and, and dig through it. It helps them uh, root for vegetables and fruit and meat and stuff. So. They're gonna enjoy some of that. And let's see if they'll come down and eat some food from us. You like this bag? Here you go. All right, so right above me is Wally, our owl monkey. These guys are also known as the night monkey, and they are the only nocturnal species of primate found in Central and South America. So they're native to Panama, and they have those big eyes to help them see at night since they are nocturnal. So Wally likes to sleep all day long up in his box. He loves grapes, so he'll come take a grape right from me. Hi, right, bud, you want another one? There you go. <laughs> they have very long little fingers to help them grab. They'll eat a little bit of everything, little bugs, nectar, fresh fruits. Grapes are Wally's favorite, and we actually got him in because, somebody, or, uh, because he was used in lab testing. So primates are used a lot to help find cures for people. And owl monkeys are known for malaria. So they actually do a lot of testing on them, trying to how, figure out how we can you know, be cured if we do get malaria. And the uh, testing that was done on him, we really don't know much about. If any, he could have been what we call placebo monkey, meaning he didn't get tested on whatsoever. He was definitely well cared for. And once they were done with the testing they were doing, he was able to retire and uh, we were able to take him in. So he's doing really well with us. He's about 10 years old. These guys can live to be about 15 or so. So he's enjoying life in our South America exhibit and uh, eats all the grapes that we can offer. Let's see, do you want a watermelon? If I go, you want watermelon? Okay. <laughs> so we're in with our lemurs, Bao and Babs, and there's over a hundred different species of lemurs, and they're all found in the island of Madagascar. Now, unfortunately, it's a, such a poor country that the government is selling lands to companies to come in and frack and dredge all of their land for any valuable nutrients and minerals found in Madagascar, and the companies will leave with it destructive. There's no program in place for them to put the rainforest back the way they found it. So unfortunately, their lands are absolutely gone. There's not enough room for there to be species living in Madagascar. Of the 101 species, over two thirds of them are endangered or critically endangered. These guys are threatened and endangered in different parts. And unfortunately, a lot of people do get them as pets. Bao came to us as a pet and she was hand raised and monkeys are really cute for their first year of life. And then unfortunately, um, when they hit sexual maturity, they get very, very territorial. They get very dominant. They want to have a mate and they can become very aggressive and very dangerous to have as a pet. Now, these guys are not monkeys. Monkeys and apes really um, adapted differently than lemurs did because lemurs were only found on that little tiny island in Madagascar. So they are um, known what's known as prosimians. And lemurs are identified by those 13 rings on that tail. They have a really long tail. So the males will do a thing called stink fighting. They have um, scent glands on each arm and they'll rub it on their tail and then they'll fling their tail at one another and do stink fighting. It's a crazy way for them to display dominance and pick out their territories and try to impress mates.
thank you guys so much for tuning into our our video all about primates here at Amazing Animals. We hope you got to learn all about the different species that we have here and all throughout the world. Remember primates are awesome animals. They are very intelligent, but they do not make a good pet. That's how we get a lot of our primates in here. And we really like to stress to people that it takes a lot of care and experience and knowledge of working with these primates, knowing their behavior, and making sure that we have a really awesome habitat set up for them. So lots of social interactions, trying to have companions for them. They're very social animals, just like you and I are making sure that we have a lot of fun climbing structures for them and just overall a lot of care that goes into them. So we hope you guys learned all about that today and stay tuned for our next video.